Are you guys ready for your next battle? Come on. Yeah. Battle, 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 battle. From Bayside, New Jersey. Put your hands together for James Pond Fillo. He's the last guy that just combed his hair. <laughs> Thanks, James. This reminds me, Lewis, tonight I watched the uh, Night of Too Many Stars, the battle for adult autism. <laughs> if you text, uh, if you text 555, five, five, <laughs> you could, uh, I'm just saying, John Stewart's asking for your help. His competition from Colorado Springs. Put your hands together for Heather Marui. Hi, Heather. How are you tonight? I'm well. How are you? All right. Uh, I'm going to have you call it in the air. Heads. Tails. Okay. James, you want to go first or defer? All right. Heather's going first. James going second. One round. It's the final undercard. Put your hands together. Come on. James has the body of Jared from Subway and a soft baby face and a soft baby face that Jared would love to fuck. You're just mad because Jared could actually get younger men to fuck him. (laughs) First one. (laughs) This is a... This is truly an honor for me. I've been a fan of Heather's ever since I saw her get body slammed by Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, third retarded blues brother. Um, (laughs) James looks like the world's youngest spokesperson for Tempur-Pedic beds. Thank you, Marissa Tomeyones. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. More feminine version of Susan Boyle. Is <laughs> it my turn? Uh, James. <laughs> James James hasn't had a girlfriend in years, but his mom died on Valentine's Day, so he has still had to buy a woman flowers. Oh. Holy shit. Uh Heather comes from a broken home. Uh, her parents aren't divorced. She just tripped and cracked the foundation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> James James has allegedly slept with five women, but since he's not famous, no one has come forward yet. <laughs> Thank you, Java the Slut. Uh, Heather's looking for a nice, stable relationship, so if any of you guys have a farm with a big enough stable... <laughs> I don't know. All right, all right, all right. That's that's enough from that's enough from Dan Aykroyd's uh, out of work body double. Um, uh, uh, James, you look like you're going to be really disappointed when you find out what pussy tastes like. Mm-hmm. You, you. You, you are really vicious. Now I know why the army had to shoot you off the Empire State Building. Whatever. One more time for Heather and James. Come on, give them some love. Give them some love. Great battle. Mr. DeRosa, what do we think, buddy? Well, I mean, this is a tough call, first of all, because... Uh, through most of this, I thought it was just the same person yelling at themselves like Gollum. 
in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> But uh, uh, it is two different people. Uh, their jokes were all great, but James, I feel like you, I just just on Marissa Tomei and A's, that's that's such a good goddamn joke, man. I got to give it to you on that one, man. One vote for James Pontello, uh, Mr. Voss. What do we think? Uh, I, it, they were hard to look at, but let me tell you, it was. Listen, we can handle this. All right, just be a fucking audience member. And shut your fucking mouth. Uh, What's wrong with the internet? Uh, here's the thing. <laughs> he, it, it was fun, but he, he clearly, and I feel bad for her because she flew in cargo to get here. Uh, <laughs> but, but I got to give it to him. <laughs> James Pontello. <laughs> Two votes. Annie Letterman. Well, maybe, maybe a little bit of love for the female. I'm, What's going on? I'm just torn because I feel like James's jokes were better, but uh, my favorite Game of Thrones character is the mountain, so. <laughs> <laughs> I had to vote for James. Three votes for James Montello. Come on, guys. <laughs> Pete Davidson, what do we think of this battle, my friend? Uh, yeah, James obviously won. Uh, <laughs> I feel very bad, we all do, that you won, but you did. Uh, <laughs> your delivery is hilarious, like, that you know the joke's funny, but you're still really afraid to tell it. <laughs> you're like, yeah, maybe it's from Marissa Tomenes. <laughs> no, but great job, you're really funny. Your winner, James Fontello, come on, give him some love. Let's go for some final thoughts. Uh, Matt Reif, what would you think of this battle, my friend? Um, James, your shit was just clever, man. The off-top comebacks were dope. The, uh, the, the one in the beginning, was, it was good. It's good. Uh, you didn't do back. Keep your chins up and come back next time. Uh, it was good. Good job, man. Here's the thing. There was no meaner than anything James said, but you were just so good looking that it brought everyone back to high school. They were like, you know what? This guy's the worst. <laughs> Big J, what do you think? I'm not going to make fun of uh, this girl like everyone's everyone's attacking looks in some weird way. What's your last name? Maruli. Maruli. That's what made me laugh. Because <laughs> she looks like a girl you call that all the time. Maruli, get over here and whack off me and my friends. <laughs> I'm glad this is over. You guys both did great. I hope now you can go back to the assisted living facility together. <laughs> and spoon each other while you listen to marching band music. Said, but do not touch Muldooney's ears. <laughs> uh, Maruli. Eli says, champ, I heard these guys' championship material. What'd you think of this? Yeah, I, thought, I think they both are. I thought Heather was great. I thought you did both great. Uh, James, I was going to penalize you for reading, but I'm impressed that you even know how to. You, uh, <laughs> you look like Hank Hill with fetal alcohol syndrome. <laughs> I thought you were both awesome, though. Great job. One more time for your winner, James Montillo. Your loser, Heather Marulli. It's all right. Go, go hook up. I'm all for free love. That was a good battle, man. Great battle. That was a really good battle. <laughs>